system, baptism is, I feel like you have to really respect God and you have to really have faith in Him and then you have to have faith in His Son and you have to know all the stages. Like you have to know, like, you have to believe that His Son died on the cross and that He was in the grave for three days and that He rose from the dead. And so I think that you should believe in all three of those things and that you should believe that Jesus, that God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to us to save us and to, um, to save us from um, death and death. And that's just we learned about, you know, we have to accept Jesus as our personal Savior before we are baptized. And we should be ready and be sure that we should be baptized. And we don't rush to try to be like everyone else to hurry and finish. I feel like you need to be baptized to accept the Lord. Last year when I got saved, um, it was out of South and Rebecca, the one who went to college, she asked me if I was ready to be saved and I said yes. And we prayed outside in the hallway of the nursery room and um, I went back inside and everybody prayed for me. And what I learned in baptism class was touched me that day and somebody prayed for me in the corner and she prayed that um, I may receive Jesus Christ and then um, she, the, Jesus came into my heart and I learned in baptism class that um, when you go in the water you die with Christ and when you come up you're a new creature and everything has just started over and you have a new life, and everything that you did is wrong, is gonna, is in the past, and you will um, live for Jesus and forever. And uh, I feel like um, amazed at uh, how many people in one class are getting baptized, and I'm just happy that this class was brought up and. Um, that we finish this class well, and that's pretty much Okay, I got saved at home with me, my brother, and sister. Um, I learned that you have to forget about your past, and um, and then after you accept them, you have a new life in front of you, and uh, I felt clean and like a new creature. Um. The day I got saved from God, like when I accepted Him, was not too long ago. Like, I was worshiping with the youth. It was like my first time, kind of. Like, I just turned a teenager, and um, Kalai and Rebecca Yazezo, they came up to me and said, like, since you're now a teenager, you should accept God and all that. And then they came up to me, prayed for me, and then, like, um, Kalai told me a verse, Romans 6:23, for the wages of sin is death, and for but the gift of God is eternal life, and that's like a really good verse to me because it's saying that um, when you sin, you should. Um, it's like the more you sin, it's gonna lead to death. So that's why you have to ask for forgiveness and pray every day. And when you get a gift from God, when you like, it's eternal because it's from God. And then 
what I learned from baptism is like it's like a thing when you can accept God like more like you know him more and like you're like family or something to him and what you and you're unstoppable it's like a really good thing to have in your life if you're a Christian one of the things you should hi so my name is Emmanuel Tegan and uh, through this experience journey of five weeks uh, in baptism how to like for getting ready for a baptism I learned uh, good things that I didn't know before uh, the main things that we covered were about um, how grace and how it is God's free gift we don't deserve to uh, connect with him we don't deserve to have that connection or go to heaven but and Jesus came and we should accept him as our Savior and our Lord because he took the pain and suffering that we should have deserved so it was God's grace that we were saved by and uh, through Christ there's eternal life and without him eternal death and suffering can help and I also learned that uh, we should believe him and that we need faith because without faith uh, there's nothing we can do we will be uh, with with faith it cancels out fear so with him we can do anything and yeah uh, what I feel about this uh, baptism is that yeah, it's gonna help me a lot get closer to God show me how much I love him and you know want to be close with him so that's it I, hi my name is Hannah Gmogas um, I got saved um, around July 6th with my mom in my bed in my bedroom and when I got saved I felt really good and when when I re read um, Romans 10 32 um, it said if you acknowledge me in front of men I'll acknowledge you in front of my father in heaven and all everyone who was in heaven. So that made me try and be more humble and kinder to be to people and not being mean or anything. So I try to be a better person and for more people to like me instead of being mean and I learned about being, I learned about what grace means, that it's an, um, it's an undeserving gift and it's a free gift from God for, for his son to die on, on the cross for our sins. And I thank him so much for that. My name is Nati Gasho and I got saved by, I was in my room, I was asking to myself, I want to go to heaven, I want to go to heaven. And I read a chapter in Timothy. It says, "Don't be afraid of, uh, of something. Always go to the Lord." So I went to I went to my dad and I asked him, "I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven." So my dad's like, "Okay." And he's like, and I asked, I told him that I want to receive Jesus Christ, and he's like, "Okay." And I received him, and it felt really good. My life, and I really felt something change. And when I, uh, about salvation, um, it says in Matthew chapter tw 28, uh, yeah, Matthew chapter 28, it says, uh, make disciples in all nations. Well, um, I want to make disciples wherever I go, and like in my school and everything, I will try to ask people that if they believe in Jesus Christ in any way, so, and if they, if they don't believe in him, I try. I wish they look at my life and see how good, I, like how I'm respectful and responsible and all that. So I wish they would see my life and they probably would change into a different person and probably do the same thing as me as I told them to see.
Jesus Christ and be with the Lord. And that's it. Um, I got to say it a long time ago. I didn't know what God was before, so I was just like relaxing. And then all this bad stuff started happening to me, and then I learned about God. My mom started bringing me back to church. And then I got saved this at BBS. to go 
Uh, um, when I got saved, like I felt like all this time I was in the shell, and all this, the sins I've done was in the shell. And when I received Jesus Christ as my Savior, I felt like I came out of that shell, and I felt like I was a brand new person, and I had a 